I'm scrapping this old bicycle for the parts. The rear wheel will go to my uncle's old Gazelle Solide because it has a broken Sturmy Archer 3 speed hub. And I want to fix up this old Brooks leather saddle for on my Union Savoy. The leather is dry and weathered from standing outside. It is also sagging somewhat. There is also something rattling on the frame of the saddle. I removed the saddle so I could take a better look. The pin that keeps both parts of the frame together is a bit loose. So I decided to take the uh, frame apart. These uh, Brook saddles are kind of hard to work on and you probably need some special tools. But I managed to get it apart using a car brake line tool. Next I removed most of the dirt from the underside. And I probably was a bit rough, but no harm done and no one will ever notice. Then I decided to re-grease the leather. I started out with some clear grease for the underside. And with the use of an old hairdryer, I made sure that the grease would flow underneath the metal parts. On the uh, top of the saddle I put some brown leather cream for horse saddles. Certainly no expensive Brooks proof ride for this old saddle. And I'm a bit surprised how black this saddle turned out after all of that brown cream. Then it was time to fix the frame. First I cut the pin that holds both parts of the frame through the middle with a rather mediocre Chinesium hacksaw blade. After that I installed an M8 fastener and started reassembling the saddle. I did run into some problems with the nuts that sit inside the springs. One of the uh, Imperial nuts was lost and I ended up replacing that with an M8 nylock nut and that worked out fine despite some damage on the studs. With the saddle back together I retensioned the leather cover. Then the next day I installed the saddle on my Chinesium bicycle. I put a plastic bag over the sticky saddle and went for a test ride. The saddle sits definitely better than before, now that it is no longer sagging so much. Perhaps a bit springy, but with some use it will only get more comfortable. And if the leather doesn't tear, it should live a long time. Well that's it for this short over voiceover version of a 30 minute long YouTube video. Link in the top right corner for when you got some time to kill. And as always, thanks for watching this bicycle shit show. Like, subscribe, yada 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 and to be continued.